All right, everyone, so the November SAT is coming soon, so I thought it'd be nice to make a video a day on hard SAT questions, or supposedly hard SAT questions, to help you prep for the SAT. So, I mean, if you're not taking a November SAT, it could be for future SATs. Um, regardless, this is good practice. So let's get right into it. So it says a cube has edge length 68 inches, a solid sphere with a radius of 34 inches is inside the cube, such that the sphere touches the center of each face of the cube. To the nearest cubic inch, what is the volume of the space in the cube not taken up by the sphere, right? So it's not taken up. All right, cool. So first off, let's just find what we know, right? Because we want to find the volume of the actual cube since they give us the edge length. We know that a cube, the volume is just length times width times height, right? So we have 68 here. So what we can do is just do 68 cubed equals 314,432. Alright, that's cool. So that's our total value now, right? But what we have is this solid sphere inside with a radius of 34 inches. Well, how do we find the volume of a sphere? Pretty simple here. We have 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. Alright, so since we have 34 inches as our r radius value, we can just plug in 3040 here, cube that. And we get, was that 164,636. So if you do the math here, we got our total, right? Our total volume, which I really should have put units, but it's whatever. And then we've got the volume of the sphere. So if we want to find the volume inside the cube not taken up by the sphere, we can just subtract this value right here from our total value. And doing the math there, we will get the answer choice A, and that is our answer. Make sure you check out our other SAT videos to prep up, and good luck on your SAT.